just were really good today. And uh, we, we helped them in the first half with our seven turnovers. Uh, we can't do that. Uh, we, we sort of shored that up. And he got off. Once we get down, like we got down, uh, it's tough to come back because of their ball, ball control offense. Um, they make timely shots. They get a great plan. And really played a high IQ game today. And uh, so we'll grow from it like we always do. And uh, hopefully this is helpful for us down in the future or helps us uh, win in, in future game. Rock, why don't you start us off? John, that assist to turnover ratio has, has been one of your staples. Do you remember a half where you had zero assists in the yeah, first half and, and so many turnovers? Yeah, no, I can never remember it. And, and it's, you know, they're, they're going to lock up on the shooters and we're going to have to create our own. They're going to make you play a two man game. And, uh, you know, it's. Different people have to get downhill and make plays. And I, uh, I, I can't explain it until I watch the video a little bit why we were we were tentative sometimes, or we just like we threw the ball to them. I mean, if you you're not, it's a short possession game, but you give them the ball seven times in one half to a team that doesn't throw it up, throw that doesn't turn people over. Um, you get a tough time. So that's uh, uh, if you throw the ball away, you can't get an assist. Is what I'm saying. John. So. Was it, I mean, you credited them. Was it more what, early on, what they did or what you didn't do? They're good. They're really good. We weren't so good in, in today. And uh, so uh, you're going to have to play. You know, we fought back, and one way to fought back. And I really thought we were, we were going to uh, come all the way back. Uh, but they made a couple tough shots, and, and we missed some. And uh, so it's one of those, you know, one of those games where you bury yourself. You're going to have to play a super second half, and well, we played much better, not good enough. Right down probably with Daniel. A couple of the players talked about how there was a clearing lack of effort, and then it's a big, big game, big crowd. Is there any explanation? I don't, why? I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I mean, we can always, everybody can always point fingers at people and say there's lack of effort, and they're probably blaming themselves. No, Wisconsin is good, and we're going to have to play really good basketball to do it. But, um, you know, I'm not going to beat our guys up for effort. Our guys played hard, as hard as they could play, I, I believe. And, uh, but probably not smart enough. Uh, they didn't play smart enough today, and they'll get better from it. Fred, did you, in terms of trying to make adjustments on the fly early when those mistakes were kind of building up a little bit, I mean, what did you just see in those first five minutes in terms of just kind of controlling? Well, you know, when they, they, they're timely in transition defense, in their transition offense. And I think, Jordan, you know, one of the times, to speak to Dan's point, I mean, Jordan, Jordan Morgan dove on the floor after a rebound. He's laying down in the end zone. But now it's 5-4 the other way, and I think they hit a three on that play. I mean, our, 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 def our, our hustle led to their, their play. Ball bounced around a little bit, and then they, they ended up crashing the boards much harder and got those, some of those rebounds that maybe we can get, maybe we can't. But, no, I, there was just some, some, some strange things, out-of-character things that we did a few times that were just, and maybe their defense um, was just good enough to make us um, lose a little bit of, a, of insight on what was really happening in that play. Rod? They got a lot of inside looks. How concerned are you about the, your, your defense and the yeah. ability to stop the easy drives and the easy inside shots, too? Yeah, you know, and, and Kamenecki was very good. He was really the, the only one. That really, I mean, we did a good job on Hayes, but he just dominated our two. And, and when we were, you know, we didn't change anything from the first time we played them because um, I, I think we had good answers for them, but it was just one-on-one. -on -one. We didn't double differently. We didn't do anything. And uh, Kamenecki just really played well. And, uh, you know, credit him. Uh, our... Our post defense is our post defense. They're going to keep moving and trying to do the best, but he made some great moves and finished around the hoop. And, and you know, the, the, the couple offensive rebounds were big, too, where Decker or he came in and finished things. John, I think this is uh, maybe the fourth, fourth or so time that uh, when the offense has been stagnant, Karras has been able to yes. kind of carry you guys. How hard is that to do, and do you wish you could get that sort of thing from some other guys during those Yeah, and, 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 I mean, sometimes it might be who's guarding who is what happens. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll look at this and, and find out what our other primary scorers could have done to help us. Uh, but the first half, I mean, we not only like I said, there's seven. And, and Wisconsin does not turn the ball over, turn people over, and we have seven turnovers against them. That's that makes the game even shorter. So uh, yeah, our, our other guys, I you know, I, I think we we've had some guys that some of the bench players come off. Zach in particular has been incredible off the bench. You know, that's not going to happen every game. And he gets a couple of those, and all of a sudden maybe we take the lead and it goes up. But you can't expect him to do that every game.